Hey everybody, it's Mitchell. Um, I really want to talk about politics and stuff like that, <laughs> but I made a video earlier because you know a lot of people saying uh, KSI beat the crap out of Logan Paul and blah 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 and blah 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 and not only that, not I wouldn't say a lot of people. I'd say a minority of the people that watch the fight and know of a minority of the people that watch the fight are saying that. The majority of the people that actually watch the fight <laughs> and have an experience or knowledge of boxing or combat sports in general uh, Despite if you like Logan Paul or not, you have to admit that he did win. I mean, he did win. <laughs> well, anyways, what made me post the video earlier was KSI made a couple videos. I mean, the fact of the matter is you hadn't seen Logan Paul make any videos putting KSI down. Or anything like that. He made one video, the I Lost video stating that he was appealing the decision, which is awesome. You know, he said he wasn't going to appeal the decision, but he decided after everybody's said, you know, um, you should, he said he took it upon his fans' <laughs> experience and their decision and going with them, and he's he filed appeal with the commission, which is awesome. Because it will be overturned. Anyways, um, KSI made the video saying that Logan Paul's a sore loser. Okay, so I'll I'll go back to where in the build up of the fight, <laughs> KSI kept on saying, "Oh, you don't know anything about boxing. You don't know nothing about boxing." Telling this to Logan Paul. <laughs> and everything like a child and they were both going back and forth and stuff like that so I can't I can't say Logan Paul wasn't you know saying stuff and, but that's that's how it is you want to you want to create controversy you want to put people in the seats and stuff like that you want to you want to get views you want to get attention so you can make more money but KSI specifically, throughout the whole build-up, like the week of, kept on talking about how he couldn't fight, how he didn't have no power, how he didn't know anything about boxing. Well, during the fight and after the fight, I think we can all admit and agree that KSI... Look like the person that didn't know anything about boxing or anything about fighting. <laughs> he was not technical. This is a cigarette, of course. I don't do anything else. I just wanted to state that because I don't do drugs. I don't anything. So, and I don't want this demonetized. I want to eventually make it to where I have monetization so I can have a following, get my name out there, make a little bit of money and <laughs> work my way up the ladder so I can eventually hopefully go into politics. That's what I'm doing all the schooling for. <laughs> Anyways, guess uh, he didn't look technical at all. He windmilled the whole time. Yeah, you. I'll admit I have a bias, but when it comes to talking about the boxing match, I'm not going to be biased. I know who I like. I know who I root for, Logan Paul. But <laughs> when it comes to the match itself, if KSI would have won, I would I would say he won. I'm an honest person. I'm a straightforward man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna be an activist for fake lies or fallacies. I'm just not. The truth is the truth with me. Well, the fact of the matter is the truth is, Logan Paul won. 
Not only was Logan Paul more technical, and he looked more confident, more under control. <laughs> he threw the better punches. He had a nice, nice jab. He he didn't throw the light right like he should. But, I mean, I believe him when he says he wasn't feeling good. I mean, he didn't look like he was feeling good. He didn't look like his normal self. I mean, but he managed everything. <laughs> and... The reason I'm making this video, I had somebody comment and say, oh, you're wrong, blah, 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 go watch this. He told me to go watch this YouTube's channel, this video this person made, yet the person doesn't know any, I went and watched it, and the person ain't even affiliated with Boston, they don't know what they're talking about. So I'm, I laid a comment out, and I told this person specifically, 100%, step-by-step step how Logan Paul won. Well, just to put more emphasis and more fact behind it and source it out, you know, despite Ryan Garcia, Brandon Schaub, and numerous other, you know, boxers, U UFC fighters, YouTube influencers and other people, you know, legitimizing the fact that um, Logan Paul won <laughs> and that the two point deduction was a rare and almost unheard of fluke and shouldn't that have happened. <laughs> I went online just to count the contribute box numbers. Okay, I'm just going to spit these off real quick. If you have questions, put a message. In the comment section, I'll get to you. I promise. You know, I got a small channel. I'm trying to build it up. <laughs> I comment and I reply to everybody's comments unless unless it's just an off-the-wall comment or it has to do with racism or something like that. I'm not going to deal with racist people. I'm not going to do so. Mm -mm. Nah. I'm going to delete you. I'm going to report you and that's going to be it. I'm not, I'm not doing any of that crap. <laughs> Anyways, round one. KSI, all, and this is all punches thrown, threw 36 punches in the first round. He landed nine at a rate of, or percentage of 25%. Logan Paul, first round, threw nine, <laughs> or he threw 34 and landed nine. Same. So he had a percentage of 26.5. So he had a higher percentage, same rate. <laughs> but he, he had that nice, beautiful, stiff jab. And you could tell. You could see. Second round. KSI threw 61 punches. Landed 15 at a percentage of 24.6. <laughs> Logan Paul threw 42 and landed 17 at 40.5%. I got to speed it off quick because I want to make this video shorter. Round three, KSI threw 39 punches, landed six at 15.4%. Round three for Logan Paul, he threw 24, landed six at 25%. Round four, KSI, 40, landed seven, 17.5. Logan Paul, 33, landed 9, 27.3%. Fifth round, KSI, 36 thrown, 7 landed for 19.4%. <laughs> Logan Paul threw 37, one more than KSI, and landed 11, four more than KSI at 29.7% uh, landing. The sixth round, KSI threw 52, landed 12 at 23.1%. <laughs> and round six, which was, I mean, the worst round for Logan Paul, was he threw 50, but the most active, threw 50 and landed nine at 18%. <laughs> Accumulation of punches, KSI threw 264 and landed 56 at 21.2%. Logan Paul threw 220 punches, landed 61 at 27.7%, 28%. Okay. 
So this is all from the Sun. It's a um, newspaper article. <laughs> It said, KSI lacked technique. That was obvious if you watched the fight. <laughs> More than lacked technique. Paul clearly um, was clearly the more natural gifted boxer landed more shots throughout the fight. KS, here we go. KSI wisely took his time to recover but was on his shaky legs just about Managing to survive the round when he got knocked down. <laughs> the two YouTube icons win. Till or or uh, tail for tail for leather to close the fight with the judges. Split on their verdict. Again, this is the sun. However, the deciding card had KSI winning by one point. Meaning, had Paul not um, received the two-point deduction, he would have won. Okay, let me tell you something. Two of the judges had it 56-55 leaning in KSI's favor. <clears throat> Without the two-point deduction, that would have been 56, or that would have been 55-54 Logan Paul's way. The other judge, and this is what I don't understand, and this is crazy, had it... 57-54 in KSI's favor. Or it was 56-55, 56-55, each had 56-55, Logan Paul. <laughs> but how could that other judge have 57-54? That is crazy. That is crazy. Because not one of the knockdowns that supposedly KSI did were knockdowns. And the one that could have been almost close to a knockdown wasn't a knockdown because it showed that he hit him on the back of the head and with the two point deduction Logan Paul uppercut him and this is normal I mean they're not going to take a two point deduction for this he uppercut him with a right boom grabbed him with his glove hit him again real fast I mean it's so fast it's not it's not a intentional thing and then when he was going down he was almost all the way down he threw a jab and that was before the referee got in there a little jab it wasn't powerful or nothing like that so all these people out there saying oh um the the punch when uh he threw it when he was on the ground and hit him that's what wobbled him no if you say that you're a liar you are a liar, because if you watch the fight, you cannot legitimately, honestly, 100% say that and actually believe it. <laughs> Logan Paul won the fight, plain and simple. And if, and if we're being honest, if everybody's being honest, Logan Paul should have won more than a split decision. He should have won unanimously by at least two rounds. Easy. But he's appealing it. Logan Paul, good luck. If the commission is doing their job right, they'll overturn it. They probably won't overturn it to a win because that's not how it usually happens. But they'll overturn it to a draw or no contest. And then you'll have your chance to fight KSI again. And see, what's funny is KSI calls him a sore loser, yet he's not throwing shade at KSI. He's only talked good about KSI. He just said he thought he won. So he appealed. Appealing with the commission is part of the process. It's the part of being a boxer. That don't make you a sore loser. I mean, you're crazy. He didn't, he didn't bash you at the fight. He gave you your due in front of everybody. And then he filed appropriately with the commission. If he was a sore loser, he'd be doing what you're doing. But supposedly you won. So why are you acting like the loser? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit me up. I like talking about politics. I love boxing and stuff like this. I like Logan Paul. He ha he's had some mishaps, but he's a grown man now, and he's showing what he can do and what he can provide and why he is an en entertainer, but not just an entertainer, why he can become an intellect. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I love you. Peace.